Hi guys, in this video I'm going to make a short overview of the new feature that was added to version 1.1. This new feature introduces advanced and basic mode uh, of operation. So now you have the option of choosing between advanced and basic modes. As you can see we have an um, H um, option here which stands for help. It gives a short overview. So if you remember, based uh, on the videos that were created uh, for the first version of Shelter, uh, we had a lot of options to go through in order to perform the injection. Of course, these options are not there just to, let's say, make your life difficult. These options are there to make uh, Shelter more flexible and more powerful. But based on the feedback I got, uh, I decided to make also a basic mode that uh, enhances the tool and uh, gives the ability to, um, let's say, decide for the user uh, most of the inputs so that uh, it makes it much more faster to use and uh, more user-friendly. So if you remember, uh, for example, in the advanced mode, you could choose like if you want to lock a thread context, um, if you want to check for self-modifying control runtime and other stuff. Now in basic mode, what just you need to do is just basically you select the target executable where to perform the injection, the injection, and then you just select the payload. All the rest is handled by the user, by sorry by shelter. So we don't have to select anymore how much uh, size of code, of polymorphic junk code the shelter wants, uh, is going to generate uh, and things like that. Uh, shelter is going to automate all the, all the next steps. So for this video, I just have uh, the original executable of uh, Acrobat uh, Reader and we're going to inject there today. And then we're going to see the results in uh, VirusTotal. So, let me select Executable Tracing started uh, In basic mode also Shelter randomly selects a number of instructions to trace for uh, remember that Shelter relies on dynamic things. This is its true power. And we also see a cool information here. A thread was created. Uh, in basic mode, Shelter automatically also uh, enables multi-thread uh, tracing. Uh, in advanced mode, uh, this is up to user uh, to decide. Then we just select the payload, which is an encoded payload uh, from Metasploit that just launches uh, calculator. You see that uh, Shelter decided to inject uh, 267 uh, bytes of polymorphic code. This is an approximate uh, value. It's going to do all the rest and uh, we're done, basically. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to execute. Uh, acro, acro, Acrobat Reader You see it takes some time because of the polymorphic code that adds uh, a lot of junk uh, uh, instructions loops and everything So let's wait a few seconds and um, the calculator popped up Alright, so what I'm going to do now I'm going to upload this to VirusTotal. This is just uh, an executable, a random one, just Acrobat Reader, so it's not something static that uh, uh, if these guys detect, uh, 
we're going to have a problem. So let me just um, select the file. goes quite well. We have uh, zero detections at the moment. Zero detections. Nothing picked up our output executable with the injected um, cell code. So I hope you had uh, fun with it. Uh, if you have any feedback, please don't hesitate to send me an email. Or if you have the time and you want to test uh, beta builds before they become public, please go to the website shelterproject.com and uh, you can read there all the information necessary, send me an email and um, you might get a chance to be part of uh, the beta team. Cool. Thank you very much, guys.